So, I, this week we are talking about Transgender Day of Remembrance, which was yesterday, um, but obviously it's the topic of the week, so um, I'm still going to talk about it. But two things really with Transgender Day of Remembrance, and one is a story of mine from yesterday that um, our LGBT group on campus had a free showing of Southern Comfort, um, and then they had like free concessions and pop, um, but I couldn't go because I had an exam review, so hopefully I can watch that movie someday, but, um, there was a guy that I've started talking to this year that he's a cisgender gay male and he went to the movie and so I asked him how it went and he was like well it was really depressing and I was like well yeah because for those of you who don't know I do believe the main person that the movie is about um, dies um, in one way or another and so um, that's part of why they showed it on Transgender Day of Remembrance. Um, and so, I was like, he, he was like, I just don't understand why all movies about trans people have to be so sad and depressing. And I was like, well, because, like, 300 or so people were murdered just for being trans in the last, like, year. And he was like, well, they've turned on to making, like, movies about gay people that are happy and I was like yeah because gay people aren't murdered as much as trans people are just because that person is gay um you know like we have that problem with trans people and so um it was just kind of like and he knows that I'm um trans and so I was kind of like what's your problem dude like um this like this is the problem is that people don't want to hear about sad things but they don't want to change things or help change things and um so that brings me to why us just existing is important because um, even you just like telling coming out to a couple of your friends or family members and educating people and just helping other people out um, is really important because like you all have most likely heard how I realized I was trans and I figured it out from um, a LGBTQ whatever um, collab and so that's why you know there's so many collabs out there and sometimes you're like why do we have all these collabs I see you eating my Kit Kat um, but like it's really important for us to talk about who we are and educate people because if we don't then some people will stay in the closet and some people will continue to think that it's inherently wrong to be transgender which is really bad um, so just anyone who posts stuff on any social media or like Tumblr or Facebook or Twitter, or you post videos on YouTube documenting your changes, or your coming out, um, any positive stories that you have, any negative stories that you have, um, it's all really important. And I think a lot of people don't give credit to all of the little things that people do every day. Um, 
and yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. But so my big resource um, that I like to talk about, partially because I am part of the staff, um, is the self-made men, and the self-made men was created for the purpose of educating the public to help trans people. And even though self-made men is, you know, self-made men, and so we're more geared towards trans guys, when you educate about transgender people, you're educating about trans men, trans women, non-binary people, um, all that, you know, it's really helping a lot of people. Um, and well, a lot of people only know us for our store right now. Um, we are working on other ways of outreach, like we have a Kickstarter going um, for a international FTM magazine, um, but the magazine will most likely also include other parts of transgender people and um, other LGB type things and um, it's really going to be all inclusive but geared towards our target audience which is middle to late teens to early 20s of FTMs. Um, so I will be posting the link to the Kickstarter um, in my description and I try not to advertise um, that on my personal things. Um, I do reblog a lot of their stuff on my Tumblr but um, it really is for a really good cause. So um, yeah if people know about any good resources uh, then you know leave a comment on our videos um, and if you ever need help you can always message our tumblr which is I believe just Transly Profit um, and that's you know, that will go to almost all of our personal inboxes too. Um, so if one of us is online, we'll be we are all very willing to help you if you're having a hard time with anything, um, or if you just want to talk about anything, um, or you can always message us on. YouTube too, um, since there's someone logging on to YouTube um, pretty much every day, so that's a pretty good place to get a hold of us. Um, but other than that, this is probably a kind of long video. But